أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأخذة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد I welcome all of you to this week's episode of the Pigeon English Dara with Khidir Ibrahim and inshallah today we're going to talk on the sunnah of dressing first I want to list the six criteria for dressing for Islam. The first one we say the extent of the clothes for both for male make it cover the navel down to below the knee. And for the female may cover all the body if you leave only the face and the hand up to the wrist. But still if you won't cover the face and the hand, that one I young. Then the second one we say make the clothes not the tight fitting. May you no know, go wear clothes, go tight, you go show all your shape. Like say you know wear clothes. And the third one, make the clothes not the transparent. Where you say you wear clothes, will they see what the what you use the clothes cover? That one also you know they permitted. The fourth, make the clothes not the glamorous. So tell you you can't can't they attract opposite sex. Where you go wear clothes, where you say you go shine for your body and here and here. Where you say all that people can't they see and you know you can't they want they use and they commit sin. Then the fifth one, we say, make the clothes no go resemble that of the opposite sex. If you be man, no go wear woman clothes. If you be woman, no wear man clothes. For the cause of Allah, they upon these people. And the last one, we say, make you know wear clothes will resemble that of the unbeliever. Make you know wear clothes may, may be symbolic dressing for the unbelievers. This one also, they, you know, they permitted. Then down to the list of sunnahs of dressing. The first one, now... Make you say Bismillah if you want to wear clothes. As we don't know already, say a good way, say anything we want to do, make you mention him of Allah. And this one too, he join him. If you want to wear clothes, make you do Bismillah in the name of Allah before we wear The, the second one, one, we say, if you want to wear clothes, make you start from the right. For example, you want to wear clothes, you go wear the right, right put your right hand first. Now, trust that you go put your right first. For Sunan Nasai, Aisha radiallahu anha, in talks, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the always start everything with your right. If you want give, gift, they give with your right. If you want collect, they collect with your right. And in the start, all good things with your right. Then the third one, we say, make, if they recommended, make they wear white clothes. For Sunnah Nasai, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talk, he say, make una they wear white clothes for if they purer. And make una the shroud una dead body with white clothes. The fourth one, we say, make your garments or your trousers no go below your ankle. This one are for men. For Sahih al Bukhari, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talk. He say any part of your garment will go below your ankle. That part they fire. Then the fifth one, now also for the men, we say make the no wear gold or silk. For even the Majah, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in talk say, he forbid us to the wear gold or silk. He say, now for them for this world, and now for us for the hereafter. The sixth one, we say, make you wear your right shoe before the left one. For Sahih al-Bukhari, Aisha radiallahu anha, in talk say, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in, whenever you want wear shoe, in the always wear the right first, Similarly, if you want comb your hair, you need to comb the right first. If you want clean up or do any other thing, now you right, now you the first do. Then the seventh one, we say, make you no know, wear clothes out of pride. Make you can't wear clothes, can't use any popery. For Sunnah Ibn Majah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in talk say, anybody will wear clothes or a garment out of pride, say Allah no go look him. The Umm Salman can talk, say, say, what of, he say, oh messenger, uh, oh messenger of Allah, say, what of the women hands, what did they go use their hands do? Now you can say, okay, may they leave her a full hand span. Now she can talk, say, but their leg go show. Now you can say, okay, may they leave them four hand span, and may no pass like that. The eighth and the last one, we say, make you read the dua, make you praise Allah. If you wear new clothes, for uh, a Tirmidhi, 
the uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say if you want wear new clothes you go mention the name of the clothes whether na rida or na khamis then you go read the dua you go say allahumma lakal hamdu anta kasawtani as'aluka khayrahu wa khayra ma suni alahu wa a'udhu bika min sharrihi wa sharri ma suni alahu you go say allahumma oh allah Lakal hamdu. You say now you get praise. Anta kasawtani. You don't give me clothes. Was aluka khayrahu. And they ask you for the good of this clothes. Wa khayra ma suni alahu. And the good will let him make him. Wa a'udhu bika min sharrihi. And they seek refuge in you. They seek your protection against the evil of this clothes. Wa sharri ma suni alahu. And the evil will let him make him. So the Prophet go always read this dua. Whenever I want wear new clothes, so with these, the eighth sunnah where I don't mention, and earlier the criteria of dressing in Islam, make we try to follow them where we, so that we will not say yes if you dress, you know, say you day free, you don't dress in accordance with the sunnah, and inshallah, Allah will bless us. You know, say it makes sense when we say the proper with clothes. You see, they follow onto the sunnah. It comes to the gay reward. You see, they guard on top the clothes again. So make you try to follow the sunnah of the Prophet. Wa akhiru da'wana an lahamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum.